okay so uh today we are going to discuss about the github correct and that is also open source tool so this you can just create the profile you can create the git repository you can create branches or you can create commit the code bases correct so basically this github tool is used for the source code management system where you can develop the code and commit that on the github so actually uh when multiple members are working in a team they are having different tasks assigned to them correct and everyone is working on different tasks so in that case they can create that particular feature branch from the master and they can add their code base verify it and then commit in back end on the github so why this is required because whenever developer is working on any particular languages they need to be have the some central storage for the code bases correct because that code they can share with other person also that code should be have the ci cd or build process correct every time local build or local editor will not help correct so for storage purpose we should have something and that's why this particular git or github application is developed and again very interesting thing is here is uh, it it has developed by linux uh, founder correct like uh, linus torvald so this is second innovation which which is did by the linux so this github thing was in innovated by him and uh, we can create multiple repository as per our requirements so again is it's open source there is no any charges for that for learning purpose for individual purpose to make the github profile or to add your languages or code code related assignments you can have your github account and you can commit your code bases or the projects which you are working for exploration purpose or practice purpose you can add those details on the github so this is very powerful tool and as i explained in previous some of the session github is used by the 80 or 90 percent plus organizations correct so that's why that particular expertise should be with us so to explore this very first step is we can create public private repository we can plan to add our code bases there correct so as part of previous assignments you can do the java application python applications or c language applications or the js related application so all these particular software applications code is in particular file with some extension let's say it's java project it will be dot java if it's like js project it will be with dot js correct so for every language or every application there will be central git repo and in that particular git repo repository we can create multiple branches correct so main branch is the primary branch for the github some somewhere it's like master branch as well but whenever the new story assigned to particular user they are creating branches from the github so how to create that how we can add the particular code base that we are going to learn in today's session correct so how we can handle the github or how we can do some operations on github correct so both ways are there we can do that with the terminal option where we can install the cli correct command line interface for the github and another option is we can do it from the ui as well so two option is there first one is ui second one is cli correct so for ui you need to be create that particular account and you should have some expertise like how to create repo and how to access it okay another option is cli option so for cli option you require that particular github installation on your setup so let's say you want to check the git version and git commands you can execute it with this particular command correct so git is already installed here and we can execute any particular command correct so there are certain commands are there so like the docker correct so docker are having some set of guidelines or some set of commands similarly 
github tool is also having some set of commands with that correct so we can clone the git repo we can initially create that particular repo by using init command we can add particular files we can remove particular files we can reset those files or we can uh, do other operations as well like we can check the logs or history or status whatever we have we are adding we can take pool from other branch in our branch we can also push our code changes from local repo to the remote repo so whenever i am talking about local repo that is something you can imagine like that is created or that is available only on your machine okay but when i am talking about remote repo that is something is available on git means on that particular portal correct with your git repository so that is difference between local repo and remote repo okay so whenever developer is doing that particular code changes that is he is doing on the local repo and once that is finished they can push that particular changes on the remote repository on particular branch for that there are certain operations like we need to create branch we need to be add that particular code base or files and we need to be commit that by using giving proper messages uh, which we can use for debugging purpose like which code is added by whom in case bug is created with respect to that particular code we can assign that particular bug to that particular developer correct so in github there is easy tracking system is there who is committing what we can able to see that because in the team multiple developers are working on that particular project and they can able to check or commit their code basis on the shared repository so in that case there might be some chances like some errors are there or some issues are there so in that case we need to be debug that what code is added by whom or code reviewer also need to be checked those particular things so github is giving all these particular checks with us with easy tracking system and ease of use as well correct so that is also one of the advantage uh, that is used for the 80 or 90 percent organizations for the source code management system another advantage is github can be communicated or integrated with the Gen jenkins tool as well not only jenkins there are other capabilities as well like github action or other ci cd related tools like circle ci and all so in that also we can integrate github so all required documentation and community support is there i would say strong community support is there that's why github is accepted by everyone and now they are learning that because this particular expertise is definitely required for DevOps people okay so that is importance of the github tool under DevOps. correct so i hope it's clear like why we need to use the github any if there are any queries you guys can just unmute yourself and you can ask okay i yes. will take it as a no any questions if there are any questions let's highlight that okay so now here you can have this particular visualization correct so in case i am developing any particular language code base or any particular application i can have that particular application name with me and i can create those particular repository correct how to create that that option we have seen or check yesterday correct we can create those repository from ui also we can do any particular operations from the ui correct so doing any particular operations from ui is one thing but let's say you have to do that from the local you can also do that by using cli option so i would always recommend try with the cli option avoid ui option correct so ui just means having for the easiness to reduce the time in case small thing is there you are dealing with one or two files you can use the ui but in case there are multiple files are there cli option is always better correct? because in project there might be chances like 500 lines or 500 files are there in that particular project so cli option is helpful so in case of CLI option, you should have knowledge about the GitHub command as well, correct? So we can 
clone that particular repository. We can configure our particular settings. We can add files or we can create repository. Correct. We can check the status of that particular repository. So I will showcase few of the command to you. But as in practice, everyone needs to be do this particular command. Correct. At least 10 to 15 commands you should be aware about with the practical assignments or practical example. Correct. So that can be like git clone or that can be like git pool or merge or git add or git status correct so those are particular certain commands for that okay so for the cli option ui part we already learned yesterday or creating git repository now uh, these are some commands so git clone command is for the cloning repository correct git add command is for adding particular file git rm command is for removing particular file correct git commit command is for committing something on the remote repository with some message correct where we can pass minus m option and pass some changes as well like added changes related to logs some message which is there or the feature you have developed correct so you can give some relative message for while committing then you can also pull uh, any particular branch in your branch you can push your code bases from local machine to remote machine then you can also create branch so for that git checkout minus b branch name is the syntax okay so you can also check the status of added files or committed files by using git status you can also check git logs to check the history like what is committed before what is commit id or what commits are there in the past also uh, you can switch between the branch let's say there are multiple branches are there in case you want to visualize that you can just execute the git branch minus a command if you want to execute or check the current branch you can execute the git branch command so these are just branches or you need to be switch between branch let's say you have clone that so by default it will be like master branch but in case i want to switch that so i will execute git checkout branch name okay so this is particular syntax correct so with here also you can able to see like at least primary commands list is here we should have at least be initial idea about this so there are some advanced command as well there correct like git merge which we need to be don't require on every day correct it's something like in case you need to be merge some changes in another branch you can execute this git merge command correct so some complex commands are also there but at least i would suggest let's start with those particular command and i will also showcase or share some required details to you if uh, you block some somewhere to try out this particular option so considering setup perspective i hope few things are clear here what you require to start with playing with the github commands or github related operations the prerequisite for the setup that is clear to you. You require Linux machine, you require GitHub access control with the email, and you required this Git installation as well on your machine. I hope till that everyone is clear. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So now uh, let's say I want to clone something, correct? So let's say I want to clone something uh i will create one folder correct so let me go into that particular folder so here very first command which command is there git clone command correct so git clone is something now the feature is assigned to you and you have to develop something so that code base should be with you correct and for that you need to be clone that already available git repo so you have already created that and that is available so in that case you can just go here 
and check for the repository correct so you can just check like this particular repository is there so it's having some branches are also associated with that it's having some code base as well jenkins pile and readme but it can have multiple files as well so this is just demo example but in case the actual working example it can have multiple files correct that file count can be 500 or 1000 depending on the languages and integration so in case you need to be clone that so you require that particular path with you correct so where you can do via https as well or with the ssh as well for ssh you require certain steps or ssh key generation as well for your account so that is also uh, those particular setup step is also added here so you can do those particular setups and verify your particular uh, configuration correct so once that is done you can just clone those particular configurations here so you just require that particular syncing or registration for your email account with this particular setup and then you can create this ssh key by following this particular setup commands right that is something one timer thing which you need to be achieve okay so once that is done you can create the repository or you can clone the repository by using those particular steps correct so here are some examples are also there how we can add or perform this particular operation so this setup this particular tutorial is having all these particular steps from the setups to command so these you can try out i will share that as well okay so here now the repository we have created correct this is public repository and now i am planning to clone that so here i am choosing https thing copied that particular url and now here you can see like nothing is there correct in case i am executing ls minus lrt so no any file or things are there i'm executing git clone where i need to pass that particular url that repo should be exist and now it has started this from cloning that particular code base correct means you can imagine like downloading that particular code base from remote repository to the local server okay so now the similar copy of that particular code base is available on your machine okay so you can check like th those particular same code base is there correct which is available here okay so now you can play around that like you can check the git branch so current branch is main branch in case you want to check the all branches you can execute this command so all branches which are available here that is available there as well so you can create the new branch as well so creating new branch is having some operations correct so let's say some feature is assigned to you and you have to create new branch you can execute git checkout minus b my new branch okay so my new branch is not available till now correct so, and i am creating that from the which branch main branch okay because current branch is main and i am inside that particular branch currently i'm creating new branch from the main branch okay with name my new branch so this is the syntax it has created this particular branch so now my question is does it that particular code base with this particular branch is available on the github as well on the remote repository yes or no not only it's we commit and push yes uh, what is uh others opinion what will happen i am able to see this my new branch on the github or not in case i am searching it from the ui yes yes okay others okay so let me explain in other way so right now everything is happen on the local correct it's on the local repository 
So you have just cloned that and created another copy in the another branch, but you haven't pushed that, correct? So till you push that, that will be not visible here. So you can just refresh that again and you can check like this particular branches, it's not available, correct? So all branches you can execute, but my new branch is not available here, correct? And here, as I have explained, like it is maintaining all this data, like who is doing what and the status around that. So that also you guys can explore easily. Now that branch is not there. So there will be some requirement like I need to be make my code available, which I have developed in new branch to other person, what I need to be do. So what step we need to be do there, like we need to push my particular code, then only it will be available on GitHub. So let check like you are in which branch. So right now I'm in new branch and here you can check like, have you added any new file or not? So it's git status is showing yeah. like nothing is added. In case you want to add anything, you can add via this particular file. Correct? Let's say I'm adding some a.java file. So here one file I have added with this particular branch, but is it committed right now? Not. So with the git status command, I can able to see like this particular file is added. For that, I need to be execute git add command, add that particular file check this particular file is added so here git is showing like a option which is showing that is added then you can commit some message like added my new feature code and you can also pass that particular file code base so once that is committed you can push that particular content as well okay so for pushing that you need to be execute git push command so till now new code base or new branch is not available on remote repository but let's say i'm executing this command once you execute this you this particular changes will be available on the new branch itself so here you need to be execute this particular syntax. So syntax we need to be follow correctly. Otherwise it will be give there. Okay. So it has started pushing those particular uh, asking for the inputs for pushing that because these setups I have did with these particular steps. So if I pass those particular inputs, it that particular data can be pushed to the git repo so these are the particular steps so i hope you understand like how we can explore this particular command so what we have did like clone that particular repository and try out these particular commands there and this you can also do so in the previous assignment you have developed the hello world application correct so and it can be in any language Let's start committing those files, start playing around the git commands, start creating branch, start pulling the branch or start pushing the branch, correct? All these things we can achieve uh, from this particular command, correct? So similarly, uh, you can execute the pull branch as well. So let me again go back in the main branch. So here I need to be execute uh that particular branch so now if i execute git branch here now i am inside the main branch previously i was in the my new branch so star is indicating like in which branch currently you are okay and in case i want to pull changes from the that particular branch i can execute this git pull command Okay, so now there are no any changes for that particular branch here. That's why it's showing like nothing is changed. Everything is up to date because on the GitHub also, there are no any changes happen inside the main branch. Okay, so from here also you can add some files. So let's say I'm adding some empty file for now just for testing purpose. 
adding that particular file and here it's giving that commit changes thing here we can add the message whatever we want and we can here we can choose like we can directly commit on that branch or i can create new branch so i'm choosing directly committing on that branch option so once i have committed that that particular code base is added here and here you can able to see like what commit message i have added when those changes are done okay so similarly adding file you can create branch from here as well let's say i have to create new branch day of seven correct so here i can give the name whatever i want and i can create that particular branch okay so now you can able to see that day of seven branch is available here but will that available on my local machine as well or not yes or no no that is not there correct because i haven't taken the fresh yeah. pool or the fresh code base from the github correct so for that we need to be i, right, have, so, I have one question yeah uh what about the conflicts like uh, someone change the change on the github or uh, someone uh, changes in the in this main branch on the on from the system so mm -hmm. once we uh, git pull from the mm -hmm. github so mm -hmm. there are there are some conflicts will be created so how to manage that conflicts we need to manually change update that file or there is one command as well git stash something like correct that. yeah git stash is something revoking uh, current changes correct but resolving conflict is something the scenario like if the other person is also doing changes in the same file and you are also doing the changes in same file and uh, you are uh, committing that particular changes and pulling that particular branch on your local correct so in that case it will be yes. create that particular conflict scenario and in that case you need to be review that correctly means you can check like your both changes are required or not or that particular sequence is correct or not so with the review you can arrange that particular settings with manual edit and then you can commit it so that is that particular step is for resolving conflict so i have created yes, yeah, means that I particular doc it. as well on this particular scenario so i will share that as well okay so that will also that okay, doubt okay. will be also clear. yeah but that particular means manual step is there correct to resolve the conflict because that is dependent on the scenario sometimes it might happen like that particular another person's changes doesn't require or another scenario like only your changes required third scenario is like both changes are required so you need to be review that correctly and take decisions appropriately like where that both changes you need to be arranged correct so that is conflict okay, scenario so, so particular who, scenario who is take, also okay. observed in the sdlc process okay so who will take this decision in that is something or... developers responsibility about resolving conflict so developers oh. are mostly working on this branch and developments correct so they should be clear what okay. they are adding and there are no any particular conflict Okay. okay but as a devops person Thank we should aware about these scenarios and commands okay so here uh, you have seen like git fetch origin commands and i have created that particular branch on the git ui but that was not available on the local so for fetching that i require git fetch origin and now i can able to see that new branch which i have created is available now here okay so these are certain setup commands and for that you required means local setup as well so developers are doing those commands only and mostly they are playing with only these particular commands means 10 to 15 the primary commands are there other complex commands are also there but at least to begin with let's go with these commands only and once you are having setup you can explore the other advanced level commands as well okay so these are particular assignments to you 
uh, guys like do these all these things operations create conflict scenario and solve that or commit that particular code base with the message so at least you will get idea like what developers are doing what commands they are actually executing on so as an devops person we should have this particular basic idea about the github and once we are having that particular idea about the github the similar thing which we are or the developer are doing on local for building and deployment of that particular application that we need to be just automate by using ci and cd related stuff so for that we require jenkins then ansible then kubernetes or docker or maven that particular other tech stacks related knowledge correct so that is i think at least considering the visualization uh, what we are trying to achieve that is clear to everyone correct so this is the next step for us like clone part or git related commands also we need to be do via jenkins now so with the local we are able to create those code bases or build it as well or build docker image as well with the yesterday's thing now the next step is we need to be achieve that particular functionality from the jenkins so that is our next step but till that before starting with that i think you are clear with the today's thing correct so github commands or important commands for the git and how to try that or how we can do the setup uh, you take one session on that uh, git repositories like uh, just and then uh, master so sometimes uh, on production we are not releasing the master we are creating one another uh, version like uh, release uh, forward slash like some number for the production release so we're not directly i think uh, releasing the master on production yeah that is something means deployment strategy related thing correct so which branch they want in which environment that particular flow they are finalizing correct so i didn't get actual problem statement can you please repeat again like there are the, some uh, releases like the feature branch then uh, master branch then develop branch then uh, there is one another branch or fix branch uh -huh. so these four branches are in git so uh, when they are going to release uh, on production after testing on the dev or uat systems they uh -huh. are going to uh, release the uh, final final code on the production so they are not used uh, they are i think they are creating one another uh, final branch correct so, so that, is, that is something means some strategy is different there correct so sometimes like for integration testing they have some integration branch sometimes for the staging or pre-prod environments testing that branch name is staging or pre-prod branch for the production release sometimes they are having release branch correct and once that deployment done successfully then only they are merging that code base in a master so that is something means deployment strategy related thing but everywhere the that particular code is dealing with this git repo only correct means the similar steps for handling code base is there or the similar commands are there so what you are talking is something like deployment strategy related thing means they are having some best practices which branch in go should be go in the which environment and how so that part we are going to discuss in the Jenkins thing. So there we can arrange that or we can develop that particular pipeline with that particular means use cases. But okay, considering the Git related thing, this is something the same thing, correct? I means they are just adding that code base on the branch and that branch name is having specific name, specific naming conventions, correct? and yes. they are yes. just following the similar commands which we just learn on the today session okay okay fine Thanks. yeah so when we start with the jenkins jenkins file syntax freestyle jobs configuration build deployment so that part will automatically clear mesh uh, can you just uh, show okay one uh... A repository a public repository create and can you just show how to add that code into that like i have done that but i have some like 
is it like we need to upload the code which is saved on our uh, directories or is it that we can copy paste on that and we can save like that because we right now what we i have created repo is like empty repo right there will be nothing on that mm -hmm. right so uh, the similar thing i just showcase here correct so mm -hmm. i have added this particular file you need to be just same do the same thing yeah so from ui you can do and another thing i have given with this particular okay. example correct where i have added this file and we need to be push that particular yeah, changes after mm -hmm. committing correct so you need to be do same thing so you can have 50 files you can have 500 files or you can have 100 files so it's same thing you just need to be add that and push that yeah on so, the branch yeah so that is something that uh, we we are getting the empty files right we are just not added anything on that file just erasing so, files yeah yeah, we can. Uh, you can have the code bases, correct? You can have the shell script. You can have any application code. That is the have in project, Spring yeah. project. So that what you can the, do. Yeah, what is, uh, I have created the Hello app in Java. Okay, so whatever the code base I am having, I can directly copy paste yes. it, that file and I can add that. Is it? Yes, yes, it's correct. You can just copy that particular code base and commit those. Yeah, uh, and the first time when I'm adding, can you just go to the uh, GitHub? Yeah, when I create, I have already created one repository, okay? And if I go, I wanted to add something, I can directly import as well, right? From the my uh, uh, files, right? Yeah, you can import it, but I think means direct option is having some limitation. You can just add one file only, or you can, that can be zip or something file only. In case that is directory, you might face some challenges by using UI, so. In that case, you mm -hmm. need to try with the local or CLI option only. So with the single file, then UI is feasible. But if there are multiple files, the CLI option is only there. Okay, but the import the file from the code, like uh, on CLI, if I have the code base, long code base, how I can like, I have to copy paste that into the um, new created file, is it? Is it easy for that or you are going through that? Yeah, that is that is uh, possible, correct? So let's say here I have did or clone that particular code repo, correct? Right. Let's say I have to go in the editor or add any particular new code base. I can just do the code dot, correct? And I can add any uh, particular files for my particular code base. So that is available, correct? Means from this particular editor, I can... Mm -hmm. add any file correct so that will be just save on that particular location you just need to be close that editor and on terminal you need to be execute those command so you don't need to be copy and do other stuffs in that case correct okay when i i put this code dot it will be go to the editor right that i know yes yes and on editor you can just add the those particular code bases or edit those code correct yeah, so on editor, I have to create one file and I add the code bases, right? Is it? Yes, yes. So that is something the developer is doing, correct? So for right. them, that file count can be anything. So they can visualize all these things on the editor and mm -hmm. find uh, the, their code changes. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other questions apart from this? Okay, so let's start exploring all these commands as part of today's sessions. And uh, these particular documents are already there for setup and all. SSH is also important thing. So today's example I have showcased by using the HTTPS download, correct? So you can also have this SSH thing. So in case you download that with SSH, that is also possible. So let me create one new repo new directory and uh, clone with ssh correct so right now i have already did this particular ssh setup and here you can see like with the https that url is starting from https now this is with the ssh so i can clone that particular repo and it will just ask for that particular password correct so i need to be execute that once that i have added correct password for that it will pull uh, that particular repo or code basis, correct?
So all these things are there. You can execute the branch and all these details as well. Okay. Yes. You can but try any particular command. So SSH, HTTPS, both option is there. So you can just execute that. Try with the private as well. Try with the public as well. With the yeah. private, there are some additional challenges are there. Public mm -hmm. is something is accessible to everyone, correct? So you can handle those access controls as well to give some specific access control to the users and all. You can add the collaborator. So all this documentation for the next advanced level thing is available on the GitHub online documentation as well, or we'll be get that easily. So let's try to complete those particular assignments at least. And uh, then uh, the next step, we have to learn about the Jenkins, correct? So setup we have already started. Mm -hmm. Now the next step is we will clone that particular code repo from the GitHub in the Jenkins workspace and start building that, correct? So because for the building, we should have that particular code base with us. So you can imagine like Java application is there. In case I need to build that, I that code base should be with me, correct? Only that, only in that case, I can build that particular application or Docker container for that. So source code should be with me. Then only I can build that or create Docker images. So that particular use case we are trying to solve in the next session, correct? So that is very important. But uh, till now, we learn so many things, understanding the continuous integration, continuous deployment, SDLC process, DevOps process, DevOps tools and technologies, Docker, Shell Script, Linux, and now the GitHub as well, correct? And the Jenkins, some of the part of the Jenkins is also, also started. So let's start doing all these assignments. So I think assignments count is going beyond 30 now. Uh, let's have that all these things with you. So in previous branch, I won't uh, go in more detail. So if it current branch, uh, I plan to cover more areas, correct? With the proper uh, steps or the sequence of the tool. So let's have those particular assignments with you, with your own setup to grab the more insights related to DevOps and DevOps process, correct? So in case you feel any particular challenges while achieving those particular assignments or doing that assignments, feel free to connect with me. We can just connect our phone and Zoom to solve those. So I hope today's part is clear. With the next session, we will have the pipeline or freestyle jobs where we will try to learn the cloning part. Correct. So here you can able to see like this is particular pipeline job that is integrated with the GitHub. Correct. And I have created this particular pipeline. So here I can do this all stuff or that is integrated with this particular GitHub. Correct. So there are certain steps which are required to uh, integrate those. And once that is done, uh, we can have that particular setup with us, correct? So we can build that, clone that, do whatever we want, correct? So everything is achievable by using the Jenkins or DevOps practices. So we can automate everything like build and deployment flow or integrating any particular tools. So that is the major benefit. If you have the idea about multiple tools, you can just automate that as per your demand or as per your requirement. Okay. So what is the recommendation from my side? Let's keep all these setups with you handy and where you can try any particular assignments or problem solving related challenges. Correct. So if you have the setups, you can play around that and uh, solve those particular use cases. So with the today's session, we learn about the GitHub. There are multiple other video tutorials are also available, which are created by me only. So you can refer those as well, but at least this particular basic knowledge is something mandatory for the DevOps, correct? So spend some time to complete those particular things. Uh, if there are any questions you guys can ask. Uh, mm. Yeah. 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 